Welcome to Leaders Digest at NBJ Summit here in California at the beautiful Terrania Resort. I'm here with Mita and Alka from Lonza. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I am excited to speak to both of you. All right, so Mita, let's start with what is Lonza? Oh, it's a great question. <laughs> so Lonza is actually a contract drug manufacturer that also has a couple of product divisions, one of which is the capsules and health ingredients business, which we're a part of. Very big player in the nutraceutical space. Uh, we do a lot of co-formulation with startup companies all the way through to established organizations. We've got hundreds of patents on the capsule side, product side, as well as on the, the ingredient side. I think we've serviced probably over 200 million patients and consumers over the years. Um, we have hundreds of products that are out in the marketplace with uh, big brands as well as startup companies. So it's a, a great space to be in. We're a, you know, a part of a large organization. So we've got the freedom to do a lot of really cool things, get into a lot of great spaces. And I have to admit that the nutraceutical space is probably one of my favorites to play in just because there is a lot of opportunity to partner with companies on co-formulation and kind of what's, what are the big trends in the Nutra space and how can we actually help produce a product that will actually help an end consumer, right? So we're mission driven. Um, we are a Swiss-based company, but we have operations globally. So really excited to be here to tell you a little bit more. About what I, I do. love that. Amazing. Now, Alka, I know that innovation is big. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that? And then also how women's health is such a big part of uh, you know what Lonza does and the mission for Lonza. Yeah, I'd love to tell you. I think there's basically four major areas that we've really been focusing yeah. our energy on. And I think it you know ties very well to where we're seeing a lot of the industry going. So places like cognitive health, right? Big industry, Good. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of room for different types of solutions there, uh, as well as active lifestyle has been an area that we've been really honing down on. Um, we have a great ingredient called UC2 that really helps from um, a preventative maintenance standpoint. So we're been, we've been really kind of tying those things together to get where we're seeing younger generation, you know, folks to really take that and, and it helps them with from a joint health perspective, but also stay active to take their kids to the park, to go do other things. They, the third area we're really focused in on is um, the women's health segment, which has definitely become the most booming part of our, um, our focus this, this past year. We've been spending a lot of time in a couple of different categories, beauty from within, again, active lifestyle, but more targeted with therapies towards women. Um, as well as, you know, gut health specifically, as well as vaginal health in other areas. So we really see that whole market as an area of growth, just like the industry does. Um, and we're really excited because we've been partnering with some great companies out there to really bring some solutions to market. I love that. Well, when I hear women's health, my ears yeah. perk up because sure. that's my area sure. of expertise. Yeah. And I love that you're focusing more on women. I mean, we need it. Women's health. We, we do. More, you know, we need products that are tailored specifically to us, yeah. which is great. And that our science back, if I can, if I can put that in there, Please, right? Yeah. So we are very focused at Lanza about the efficacy of the products we put into market or that we help bring to market because being science backed is so, so important. We have not historically seen women be parts of larger studies, whether it be in the pharma space or the nutra space, right? And now that's changing and we're helping that change happen in the marketplace. So being science backed is really important to us. And as Alka mentioned, women's health is an emerging market that we are very, very passionate about. I love that. So talk to me about, you know, women at Lanza. I sure. mean, women in leadership, women how, like at the company. Yeah, absolutely. So. Lanza is first and foremost committed to diversity and inclusion, right? Um, and we also balance that with seeking out the best talent. The thing that I can tell you, I've been at Lanza about 18 months, and I was brought in in an executive position as a woman, right, um, a diverse woman. And I will tell you, I have been so impressed, so impressed. It was one of the things that I really sought out information on relative to the profile of Lanza, who's there, does anybody look like me, you know, how are we going to work together, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised through the interview process. I met a host of female executives, everybody from, you know, our executive committee has several female members um, who have longevity in the company all the way through the ranks of the organization. And, you know, we've got business unit heads that are female. We have, and we're a global organization. So we've got diversity from a cultural, ethnicity, age, you know, position in terms of education. We've got 
the smartest people I've ever worked with, quite frankly. <laughs> um, it's really, it's amazing. And the fact that women are so prevalent in leadership at Lanza is, was very important to me individually when I was joining the company and it has held true. It really has. And, you know, I sit on the executive leadership team of our division and, um, you know, our head of quality is female. Our head of procurement, indirect procurement, is female, right? So we have a lot of our partnerships in our cross-functional departments. There's a lot of female leadership there. One of my co, um, you know, cohorts in another division. She and I partner very well. She heads up an entire business unit. So there's a lot of female presence in the executive ranks. You do see women in kind of the 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 lower parts of the organization. That's fairly, I want to say fairly normal now, but executive ranking as a female is still difficult. It's hard. It's hard. And there's just not that many, like there's more and more, but there's so much more. To do. Exactly. We have a lot of room to grow. Yeah. A lot of room to yeah. grow. Alka, tell me about your experience sure. at working at Lanza as a woman. Yeah. So I actually started at Lanza about a year ago. So I'm more of a newbie than Nita is actually. And new to the nutrition industry. Oh, very. So I came from a biotech uh, background. Um, and distri distribution background. So for me, really, I think what has stood out is not only leaning on my network within Lanza, these strong women leaders, you know, but also leaning on the industry. And I can tell you, it, I am so proud to be a part of this industry because people have been so willing to share. They have been so willing to talk about their challenges, what they've seen work, what hasn't. And it's just been such a, you know, welcoming state to come into an industry like that and really kind of get people from anywhere from, you know, women in nutraceuticals with Heather and, and other organizations to help rally around them. Some of the topics that Lanza is really, really proud, you know, is starting to really get into the forefront on. So for me, it's been a really, really positive experience. And I think, you know, as we were talking about, we don't have enough women leaders, but the ones that are there in place in our industry have been phenomenal. So I've just been very lucky to have that. I love but, that. Nina, tell me, you know, you're talking about, both of you are talking about women in leadership roles at Lanza. How do you think that impacts the end consumer? I think it impacts the end consumer significantly. So by having a female representation at the table, especially when we talk about women's health issues, you know, it, before the interview, we were talking about menopause. I'm hitting a big birthday this year. 50 is a big number. And, you know, I'm starting to hit some of these, these, these topics personally, and I don't think I really understood them, you know, prior to starting to experience some of this stuff. And I have a different perspective. And we have, and now I'm educating, you know, the younger generations too, because I now know more, right? And I just think that we're bringing so much more knowledge and experience to the table not just in our personal lives relative to being prepared, but also with companies, companies like yours, quite frankly, where they are really focused on not only b bringing a product to market, but educating around it, making it efficacious, making it science backed, making sure that there's research behind what's in the product, making it as clean label as possible. Those are all things that are very, very important. And as a, a female who is very interested personally on those things, I can make sure that those topics get talked about that Love don't that. always get talked about. Love that. Yeah. Do you have anything to add? Well, I mean, I think the consumer is very savvy these days, right? right? And I think they are, are asking for the right things where they are asking about efficacy. They're asking about what ingredients are part of this. They're asking about their overall health, right? How this is going to impact that. So we owe it to ourselves. And I think this is something that Lanza really prides themselves on is being science-backed, really having the right sort of certifications and different things in place for, and research to show that our products are what we say they are. And so I know today at the conference, we've been talking a lot about fraudulent product, Amazon changing their policies, right? We have a lot of, I think, the right momentum. And I think our consumers are seeing that. Um, and I think at the end of the day, when we talk about women's health, no one knows that better than women. So when you make a product, you formulate something, when you market something, it has to be from that. And, and that's what Lanza's been doing. I was going to say marketing, PR, packaging. Yeah. Packaging, everything. huge. Everything. Packaging is huge. Packaging, like you, you know, you could tell when a package has been designed by a woman, and this is a product for a woman versus, you know, yeah. yeah. I mean, how many shows, right? Bridgerton. Like there's shows out there that everyone's excited about yeah. and it's because they're from women. You can tell the perspective. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to Just do that it. with our products as well. Yeah. yeah. 
Exactly. I love that. Is there anything before we end today's conversation that you would love to leave our viewers with? You know, I think there's one topic we didn't really hit too hard on, which is quality, mm -hmm. right? Quality and regulatory. I think this industry is going through a dramatic shift and change right now. Um, it's a moment of inflection, right? Where the pharmaceutical industry has been so highly regulated for such a long time. And I think the nutrition industry got a little bit of a bad rap in the early years around, oh, it's just, it's not regulated. It's not really, um, you know, a product that I should take or will take or, you know, doesn't have the science backing behind it necessarily. But, you know, one of the things I was most impressed about with Lanza is that quality and regulatory compliance is paramount to us. And we help our customers with science, with quality documentation, with regulatory compliance documentation. We now have a, you know, we just actually are launching a customer portal where there's self-service capabilities as a customer of ours that you can go in and make sure you're up to date. That is so important for this industry as we go through this change to make sure that efficacy is there to make sure that science backing is there, to make sure that quality and regulatory compliance is there. And that is going to help the industry elevate in totality. You know, the, the high tides rise all boats, and it's kind of that same methodology of if we can focus on those core fundamentals, the entire industry will get lifted up. I love that. That's a great way to end the conversation. So thank you for that. Thank you both for doing this. It's been thank you. for having us. And thanks to all of you who are watching Leaders Digest at MBJ Summit.